$100 bill, the first to feature the signature of Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner. So proud of it, they created a special website, newmoney.gov, complete with video and audio. In case you've ever wondered, this is the sound of the government printing money. The most distinctive feature of the go. new note is a blue ribbon running down the front of the bill just to the right of the portrait of the man who gives the Benjamin its moniker, Ben Franklin. It's a kind of a holograph with the number 100 and a sketch of a bell. The government produced a series of podcasts to help explain the new feature. In this one, Dawn Haley of the Bureau of Engraving and Printing yeah. explains to an interviewer, introduced only as Dave, how it works. This is the ribbon right here. Okay. And right now you'll see bells and 100s. And, and as you move it, some of the bells will turn into hundreds. Okay, I see. So I'm looking for this kind of motion on the ribbon to know that my note is genuine. You are definitely looking for the motion. Okay. This note is all about movement. Uh -huh. But right now, the new notes aren't moving anywhere. They're in storage vaults at the Bureau's facilities in Washington and in Fort Worth, Texas. The problem? Many of the new notes have been found to have creases on them. It's kind of what happens with newspapers sometimes or magazines. There's a crease down the middle of the page. And while you can read the print, if you pull on the page, the crease unfolds and there's a blank spot. Acceptable in your daily news, maybe, but not so much on your $100 bill. The government noticed this problem with its new hundreds a while back and announced in October it was delaying their introduction. But as CNBC first reported yesterday, not before, they printed 1.1 billion of them, $110 billion worth. George Kuhay knows his money. He's editor of the Standard Catalog of World Paper Money. Kuhay says there's a lot riding on the new $100 bill. It's a technology that's new to them, so there's a learning curve there. And they have to just print huge amounts of them because the day that it rolls out, it's going to have to work in every ATM machine and it's going to have to be distributed throughout the world. Responsibilities for the new bills are parceled between the Treasury's Bureau of Engraving and Printing, which prints the notes, and the Federal Reserve, which distributes them. No one from either agency would talk on tape or on the record. But in the podcast, Haley foreshadowed the problems in the new note. The more complex we can make a note, the higher the hurdle is for those counterfeiters to try to duplicate. And we're very proud of this note because it's going to be very difficult. Officials do say the number of bills that will have to be destroyed is a small fraction of those already printed. As one put it, there's a lot of hard work being done to fix the printing problem and to figure out how to sort through the stacks of notes and get rid of the bad ones. In the meantime, the government is printing more of the old-style Benjamins. Brian Naylor, NPR News, Washington. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Three hundred thousand, yeah. Uh -huh. Come on. Talk about 300 WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange has been jailed in Britain. One of his attorneys says they'll appeal the judge's decision to deny bail. This is going to go viral. Many people will come forward to stand as sureties for Mr. Assange. The latest details in 20 minutes on WHYY's All Things Considered. The Chester County Hospital supports WHYY as the only accredited Come chest pain on. center in Chester County. I swear I've got more than a mile. immediate comprehensive care for cardiac patients and to making lives better what every day. Details at ChesterCountyHospital.org. It's 549. Time for a check on traffic. And it has been a little on the heavier side on the northbound lanes of 95. There's some slow traffic around Girard and the Schuylkill Expressway still has plenty of backup traffic heading uh, westbound to Mexico from south and through Vine. And again, uh, from City Avenue on out to the Contract Curve, eastbound side still tying up 476 into Belmont. And again, a slow traffic spot uh, around South Street. West on 422, you'll still find tight of traffic from Trooper Road out to the Oaks exit. And eastbound Pennsylvania Turnpike slowing Norris Town and through Fort Washington. That shadow traffic made possible by the exogen temporal thermometer. Rain checking in front of the right. University of Y'all have seen how long this is gone. Supports WHYY. There's no New way. Sciences is where healthcare and science converge. Come on, baby. Sciences educates physical therapy students to I've practice more than a mile. within an evolving, complex, and diverse healthcare environment. 
Students are taught by clinically certified specialists. U Sciences even offers a direct entry admission option that allows students to complete a Doctor of Physical Therapy degree in just six years. More at usciences.edu. This is All Things Considered from NPR News. I'm Melissa Block. I'm Guy Raz. And now, to the kitchen. For two years, I've had a small pillbox of saffron in my pantry at home. I can't remember why I bought it, but it has sat in the cupboard untouched since then because I didn't know what to do with it. That is, until I met food writer Monica B. Day. Monica was born in India. She now lives outside Washington, D.C., where she writes a syndicated column called Seasonings. And the other week, she wrote about saffron. So I asked her to come by to chat and to cook. Saffron is one of those spices where you can't have too much of a good thing. Mm. You know, um, great chefs always say if you can taste the saffron in a dish, you've gone too far. You've messed up. <laughs> you've completely messed up. It's all about the aroma. Now, I just opened up this, this little box of saffron for you to so smell. It's all about the aroma. When I was growing up, when saffron was added in a dish, it always signified you were special. Right. They were going out of their way to add this very special, very expensive ingredient. What's going and on so it's here? Done with a little six pinch, minutes, just 12 a little seconds. pinch on top, just a little pinch I'm going in the 60 dish. miles an hour.